What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can change the colors of your Google map. Now first we're going to start with a basic HTML website and then we're going to jump to WordPress so you can do it using some plugins, okay? I'm here at developers.google.com slash maps. I'm going to click here on get started. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And the one that I want to use is this one, Google Maps JavaScript API, okay? Make sure you are logged in in your Gmail account so everything that you do gets saved on this account, okay? Let's click there. All right, we have some stuff here like overview, guides, reference, samples, support, tutorial. So we got a lot of stuff here so you can learn more, but we're gonna do something very simple. So just follow me. The first thing we're gonna need is an API key. So let's click here in this button that says get a key, get a key, click there. And you have to select the name of your project. So I have here some projects, but I'm gonna create a new one. Maybe you don't have, so just click on create new project. And you can choose whatever name you want. You can be testing or whatever. I'm gonna click now on create and enable API. All right, now that you have your API key right here, you're gonna see it. You can close this window right here and we're gonna go to samples, okay? I need to, you know, check some, check some sample codes right here. I'm gonna scroll down right here and I'm gonna go to styles, okay? There is a, a style maps and says night mode. I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see they have this map right here. It's a sample, uh, looks awesome. And if you scroll down, they are giving you all the code to create that specific style right there. This is the whole code, all right? And um, you can see here at the top, it's a simple uh, HTML site. You know, um, they have some CSS here. And the only thing that they have is a div with an ID of map. That's it. And then they have a script using JavaScript right here, all this. And they have it all right there, all these styles. Look, all the colors, all this stuff. Everything is right there, okay? Now, if you scroll down, you'll see another script and there are, they are calling the API right here. This is very important. If you don't add your API key, it's not gonna work, okay? So you can see here something that says your API key. You can click there and you will have a drop down of all your projects, all right? Um, the one that I created is this one, testing. So I'm gonna click there. Okay, I'm gonna click insert and here I have, now I have my API key, everything looks great. So I can just copy like all this code and paste it to my text editor, but I already did it. So let's go there and you can see that I have, uh, you know, a basic HTML website. I have some CSS, which is the same thing as you can see here. No, it's very simple CSS. I have just an ID, just a, I mean, just an, you know, a diff with the ID. I call a script and here we're gonna have our styles and I have my API key right there, okay? It's that simple, simple HTML website. So in my scripts, I got the same code, but in styles, you can see here, styles, and the square bracket and closing the square bracket. Here we can have all the styles. So let's go here. I don't want to confuse you. You can see here, styles, the square bracket, and then all the styles right there and closing the square bracket. So that's all I have with like empty styles. So my site is looking like this right now. Right, just a simple, same style of the, the default uh, Google Maps, okay? Now, 
You can change the latitude and longitude very easily. You can just go to your, you know, searching on, on the google.com slash maps and you can search for the location. For now, I am in Orlando. And here in the URL, you can see these numbers right here. Look, right there. All right, that's your latitude and longitude. So I get it from there. I just copy, sorry. Just copy and paste it right here. Latitude and longitude. And right now I am in Orlando. Great. Now, I want to add some colors to this, okay? And for that, I'm going to this website named Snazzy Maps. So they have a ton of styles that you can choose from and you can get the code and all that good stuff. But they have an option here that says create. So I'm gonna click there. Look at this. Look at all these options. All right. So um, let's say that, you know, for now, something very quick. Let's, let's change the color of the water. So I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom. And you can say that I, ha I have selected the water right here. I'm gonna click here on all. And here we have the color, color of the water. Let's say we're gonna change it, I don't know, something like this. It's like a green color or something like that. So you'll see my water already changed. That was like super easy, right? Super quick. Now let's say that you're super happy, you're done with your map, you like the style. I'm gonna go here and click view code, right? Now you have all this code right here. And you can see that we have our uh, square bracket that I already have in my code. So all I need is this code, all this code. You know what, let's, let's do it from the bottom to the top. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'm gonna copy all this code. I'm gonna go, go to my text editor and I go here between these square brackets. I'm gonna paste it. All right, I have all the code right there. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna reload my page. Let's see. <laughs> and there you go. Look at this. Now I'm gonna jump to WordPress. So I'm here in my dashboard in my plugins. And you can see that I have two plugins, Google Map and Snazzy Maps. Those are the two plugins that I need. Google Map is only to add a simple map to your site. And Snazzy Maps is to add the style of that map. And you can see here that we have a short code to add the map. So I'm gonna copy that right now, so I'm, I, I don't wanna come back here and copy, but you can just come back here and copy if you need it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to my Google Map here on the settings and click Google Map. And you can see that we need an API key, right? So you have to paste the same API key we used on the HTML website. You can just paste it right there. And you have some options like width, height, and all this stuff on the location, latitude, longitude, uh, um, you know that you can get this from the regular Google Maps site, zoom level and stuff, right? We have here the map style and you have some options. And this is using Snazzy Maps, but I am not gonna get options from here because I, I'm gonna choose my style from the Snazzy Maps plugin, okay? So I'm good with this, I'm gonna save the changes. And now I'm gonna jump to Snazzy Maps. So let's go to Appearance, Snazzy Maps. All right, so here you can see you have some site styles. There is nothing here, so we're gonna click Explore. All right, now you can, you can see here that we have a ton of styles. A lot of them, look, we have a lot. Now, you can filter like by color and stuff like that. Let's say like blue, for example. All right, I really like this blue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on save style because I like it. You can save all the styles you want, but that's the one that I like. And let's say that you want to use 
this uh, style in your WordPress. So you can just click enable, but I'm not going to do it for now. I'm going to add the map first and then I'm going to enable this style. Okay. So I'm going to go to my site. This is my home page. Let's add the Google map right here. Let's click on edit page. And right here, I'm going to add the short code, right? The Google map short code. I'm going to click update. Let's see how it looks. All right. Looking great. Of course, the style is the default one. Nothing, you know, incredible, just simple. Now let's get back to snazzy maps and let's enable this style. So click on enable. All right. Now let's reload this page. Look at that beauty. Now it's that simple. That was super quick. It's looking awesome. Beautiful. And you can go back to snazzy maps and go to the settings. And you can add your API key because you can create an account with snazzy maps on their website and you can create your own styles. You can save your own styles. So you can actually get the styles from your account to here to WordPress. So you don't, you don't have to choose only the one that they have. You can create your own on their website and then get it from there. Right. But you need an account with them. All right, guys. So that's it. That is awesome. So remember that I'm uploading one video every week. So if you want to keep learning, subscribe and I see you next week. Bye.